welcome to McFly Angler. I've never been a guide, but I still enjoy teaching people how to catch more fish. So join me in this video for some fun in catching fish. Hey McFly subscribers, I'm out fishing again. Uh, this is the second weekend in a row. So I came last week with Paul and we tried the Medina here and we weren't very productive. We didn't catch very many fish. Uh, I think the reason why was because the water was so clear and the, the water temperature was quite low. So we just had a rain uh, two days ago, maybe three days ago, and I think that's gonna muddy up the river a little bit. So I came out here alone. I'm gonna try my hand at it, see if I can't catch some fish. If the water is not quite as clear, I won't be spooking the fish and I, I'll be able to actually fool the fish a little more with the flies that I'm using. That's, that's at least the, the plan, hopefully that's true. So I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna start off with some dry fly, see how that works. So that water clarity uh, dropping should also help keep me from being seen. So that was another issue is I, I, the fish would see me before I got up to the spot or could cast to them. So hopefully this time, let's keep our fingers crossed here and I catch some fish. So right away I start getting strikes on my dry fly but I wasn't able to set the hook on any of the fish. Now there were many more than just these two, but this video would go on forever if I showed you all the strikes. It was almost every cast. So here I got a strike and I set the hook and oh, that fish went flying. I wasn't expecting something so small. I guess that's why I was getting false strikes. The fish were too small to swallow the hook. Then I came down to a deeper spot here and started finding larger sunfish. Now I think these are long ear sunfish, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. So I was finding that the water was too deep to get most of the fish to come up to my fly, so I threw on a streamer. Also I wanted a larger fly to hopefully entice some of the bass to strike that I saw lurking under there. With this fly though, I was finding out that without a sink tip line, I could not get this deep enough with the current that was going through here. In fact this current was a little weird, and part of the river would push the fly upstream, so it was difficult to swing the streamer to my intended spot. I decided to switch to a smaller streamer with some weight to it. I figured it would cut through the water quicker and get down to the fish. And I was right, I started catching more sunfish. Another fish that looks to be the same species. Pretty sure it's a long year. Now this little streamer is working very well for me. It's brightly colored and heavily weighted. I actually tied it on camera a while back for a tutorial. I will link it in the description section if you want to see that tie. And I called it the Panfish Delight. And for sure, it worked really well here. Oh, now there we go, a spunky little fighter. Wow, that's a good sunfish. These are always fun to fish for. Pound for pound, they're one of the hardest fighting fish in freshwater. They don't get very large, but what they lack in size, they make up for in tenacity. Larger than my hand. After measuring out where it came to my rod, I think it was in the nine and a half inch range. Nice little sunfish. This water is so clear. I love how you can watch the fish just shoot back into their hole. By the way, the water is about six to seven feet deep right there.
Oh, I lost that one. Hey, a bass. So I left that spot and started walking back to the car, but switched to a large hare's ear nymph. I was able to get a couple more fish with it. Hey, nice little bass. Now, I'm no expert, but I think this is a Guadalupe bass. I'm sure those of you native to fishing South Texas rivers would know. So how I'm fishing this little nymph is to let it sink to the bottom, then bounce it slowly off the bottom which seemed to get the strikes. There were carp here as well, and catfish, but I could only get the sunfish and bass to bite. Well, it was a pretty good day. Caught some fish, uh, all bluegill, a couple little bass, but boy, that one was bigger than my hand. That was a really good size. I want to call it a bluegill. It was probably not a bluegill. It's some kind of sunfish type of thing, a little panfish, but big, really good size. And that thing fought, that was fun. Especially on a five weight, you know? It, I mean, obviously this thing can handle a lot more than that, but uh, it was still fun. Had, had a little bit of pool and had a good time. So I think definitely uh, wading this river is a little better than kayaking it personally. At least with the flows the way that they are. I didn't go all the way down as far as we did with the kayak, but you know, uh, I didn't have a lot of time. Definitely I'm going to be coming back, especially in the summer here. I think, uh, I think I'll get a lot of fish in the summer for sure. Uh, there's definitely potential here. A lot, a lot of good sized fish I saw down there. So Also, check out Risen Fly Rods. It's the rod I'm using. Uh, I am sponsored by them. But this uh, ITB rod is really good. I do like it. The action of it is just perfect. So you can fish, uh, you know, dries. Uh, you can nymph with it. And you can do some light streamer action. I mean, of course, you're not going to be you know, big articulated flies with it. Hey, it's a five weight. But it, it, the action is moderate. It's what, uh, what I call moderate. And I've always said and always thought that moderate rods are really one of the better rods out there if you can only have one rod. And I bring this on almost every trip because it's so versatile. You can dry fly fish, you can nymph, you can throw streamers. It's got enough oomph to get out there, but it's also light enough that you don't feel like you're overpowering that dry. And that's what I like about it. So this ITB rod is really good for the money. 
Um, this whole setup uh, is, I think, their armor reel, their ITB rod, and then this is their line, uh, Risen Fly Rod's line. And it's all really good stuff. I've got a lot of different setups, and I find myself going back to this. So go check them out. Uh, they did offer everyone 15% off. So if you're my subscriber, just type in McFly at checkout when you go to buy whatever it is from them that you're gonna buy. Uh, they've got a lot of different stuff. And uh, you'll get 15% uh, off, which is nice. Because it's already really good pricing. So, you know, probably the best, best quality rods you can get for the money, in my opinion. So go check them out. You won't be sorry. So I will see you guys on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.